I honestly think that having a kitten is like having a baby. <laughs> For today's makeup struggle, guys, I actually, I was looking through Instagram last night and I seen the most beautiful, like purple, kind of purpley pink eyeshadow look. But this makeup look is by Brogan Bianca and her Instagram is baby holding. This is the makeup look. It's beautiful. Stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so I'm actually going to recreate it today. I will obviously link a list for Instagram and everything down below. Do you know what I've had to do? I've had to put Twix wrappers all over my flower pots in my filming room here because she keeps on standing in them. She's literally in it. Stanley. Oh my god. Editing Emma here just checking in. <laughs> I'm obviously just editing through this video at the minute and I have just realized my extensions I should be shot <laughs> it is an absolute crime arrest me my extensions I do not know what is going on so yeah I apologize so I'm gonna start with Tahiti this is actually the one color in this palette I haven't used <laughs> so I'm going to start with this somewhat packing brush, just got a wee bit of fluffiness to it, but it's more of like a, kind of like an angled packing brush, but I'm just going to be using this to pack on this shade first of all, just in that crease and the outer corner. And then of course when it comes to the outer edges now, taking no more product on my brush, I'm just going to go around and diffuse use that line and I'm coming to the inner corner because this is kind of like a slightly angled brush I'm going to tilt it I'm going to start winging this out I'm going to take a wee bit more of that colour and don't worry about it too much because you're then going to go in with a blending brush I'm going to do a wee bit of blending on the crease and then this is whenever you're going to create your shape at the outer corner using your blending brush. And the brushes I'm using by the way are from BK Beauty and the brush I'm using now is from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. These are very expensive brushes. <laughs> They're very bougie but I kindly got gifted all of them in PR and they were kind enough to actually give me a discount code for you. It's non-affiliate, I don't make any money off it or anything, but it's for 10% off the website, like, site-wide. But I use their eyeshadow brushes all the time in my tutorials now, since I couldn't really use my own. Well, I don't use my own, I still really do use my own brushes, but I just sometimes feel like there's no point. But their complexion brushes especially are one of the best brands I've used. I'm actually going to switch to a clean brush now, taking this one from Buff and Blend, a BB22. And I'm just going to still go into that Tahiti shade. I'm taking like barely anything, <laughs> if not nothing. And I'm just going to go around all those edges, just right around the whole eye. To just really, just going to diffuse that shadow, make it a wee bit more blown out. Do I want to add a wee bit of depth somewhere? I don't know. What do I think? I'm thinking maybe a wee bit of grape. This shade here. Just, just a wee smidgen. Because I think blackberry will be a wee bit too dark. Maybe a wee bit too hard to blend out maybe. I don't know. We'll take a wee bit of grape and see. I'm just looking at this palette and seeing all the shades that I have hit pan on and that actually reminds me of a video that I'm wanting to film next. <laughs> it might quite possibly be the most boring video ever but it is such a guilty pleasure of mine. Seeing the evenings whenever I'm lying in bed before I go to sleep, I love flicking through Instagram and looking at people's pans. That doesn't really make sense whatsoever, but I love Project Pan. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like anybody that is doing the whole 
um, like going through products, seeing how long it takes them to hit pan and get through the product. I just find it so satisfying looking at products where people, um, or like eyeshadow palettes like this for example, where people have hit pan. I find that so satisfying. <laughs> I find it so satisfying. <laughs> So it actually gave me the idea to actually fill a video sitting down and talking to you and showing you all the eyeshadow palettes that I have hit pan on. And that's it. <laughs> like I would find that video so satisfying but I kind of feel like for anybody else. Yawn. <laughs> Put me to sleep why don't you? See, if I turn my head this way, you'll see that I have extensions clipped in, so ignore that. Too blue. I'll try this one. Jellies. Oh my god, look at my fake tan. That is so gross. Tonight is the night, by the way. It's fake tan removal night, so ignore that. I think we'll do this one, actually, so... Jellies. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, what one? Yeah, so jellies. And I'm just gonna be packing this on just in that inner corner, just for now. And while I'm packing it on, I'm just using kind of like patting and swiping motions. And this is not only just going to apply that shimmer shade, but it's also gonna do a wee bit of blending for you at the same time. Because I say this all the time that I hate whenever you apply a shimmer shade on the lid, whether it's an eye makeup look like this or a spotlight eye, that whenever you apply a glitter or a pigment or a shimmer shadow, you have to blend the edges. So everything just looks so cohesive and seamless and nothing just looks plunked on and just sat there. <laughs> you just always wanna make sure everything's just all well blended. Starlight. Going back in between your brushes and perfecting your blend. Oh my god, I love this eye makeup look. It's so simple. You know, it's freaking stunning. I'm gonna take this acid rain paint from P. Louise and it's in the shade Ibiza. And I'm just gonna pop this just in my waterline. Mm. Just kind of want it to be a wee bit darker. I actually thought it was going to be like the colour that's on the packaging, but it's not. <laughs> Before I apply some lashes, I'm actually going to add a wee bit of glitter just right in the inner corner, the tiniest wee bit of this. It's the Glitter Shakers glitter from Stargazer in the shade Lilac. <laughs> there, I'm literally just wanting like the tiniest wee bit of this glitter. Nothing too much. Just right in that inner corner. <laughs> I'm gonna take Tahiti and that's literally all I'm doing on the lower lash line and then I'm gonna take this way and then I'm taking this colored mascara from Colourpop this is in the shade oh floating fern a really nice like purpley colour. I'm gonna coat my lower lashes. Toxic girls of trade. I freaking hate that girl you know. I have had that song stuck in my head for days at this point. <laughs> I have glitter everywhere.
Boom. Can. <laughs> Tired girl. Look at the state of those eyes. <laughs> I still haven't got around to ringing the vets. I'll probably ring them today because her eyes are just shocking. And we have a runny nose, a boogie nose. Jeez, I swear it's like having a toddler. <laughs> but no, it's it's not fair. There's definitely like something wrong with her, and it's honestly breaking my heart. Like. Hmm? You're a wee sick girl. You're a wee sick girl. Hmm? Aren't you, darling? Hmm. Oh, compared. Oh, listen to Birds of Dool. One way to get to manipulation station. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have no idea what song I'm singing, Count yourself lucky. Uh, that whole calling or cooling, whatever she's called, situation, so funny. I've been watching so many videos of other YouTubers reacting to her apology video. And honestly, the reactions of these people watching her apology video is funnier than the apology video itself. Because every single person's reaction is just they're just speechless because <laughs> it's so what the fuck. <laughs> um, but anywho guys, this has come to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love this makeup look. It's just such a nice wee fun pop of colour. It's nothing too crazy. It's still nicely soft but glam and colourful obviously at the same time. I just think it's really really pretty. So so nice. So of course as I mentioned at the start of the video and I'm going to mention again this whole makeup look is inspired by Brogan Bianca on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is BB Holding. I will have all of that listed and linked down below in the description box for you. And if you want to go and check her Instagram out her makeup looks are absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous again thank you so so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye